Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Family, welcome everyone. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. This is a new day that the Lord has made. Can we all rejoice and be glad? Today I bring us God's fresh word. The Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. I pray that as you have been listening and connecting to God's word every day, may your faith increase more and more for in Jesus' name. The title of this particular word says, If this happened to you two years ago, hallelujah, this prophetic word is for you. If this particular thing happened to you two, two years ago, this word is for you. God bless you once more, family, in Jesus' name. For proper introduction, welcome to Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil, the man God is using to bless us with his word. Please become part of this amazing family as you click on the subscription button, like this very prophetic word at the end, God who is the rewarder of men, will be the only one to reward you in Jesus' name. Always stand the gap to be that one that will promote the work of God so that the gospel of Jesus Christ might go viral for in Jesus' name. Today, this particular prophetic word that the Lord gave me, the Lord says, if this happened to you two years ago, this word is for you in the name of Jesus. A lot of things has happened to a lot of people two years, three years, four years, and I know everybody just wants to hear what really happened. But this particular thing is going to somebody, praise Master Jesus. I want you to listen, to listen closely. Yes, if this happened to you two years ago, you will know. This was an encounter in the name of Jesus. This was an encounter. Something happened to you seriously in the name of Jesus. Before we take the prophetic word, let me bring us in the Bible the story of Joseph. Praise Jesus. The Bible says Joseph was the last born. And God showed Joseph a dream. Showing Joseph this dream, Joseph never knew that that dream was the beginning of his process to become the prime minister. But God showed Joseph the dream, but God never showed him the process. Praise Jesus. This particular person, the word is going to, you had a particular dream, and I will be telling, telling us what the dream was all about. And at this particular point of time, you, you are feeling as if that particular dream, or you didn't hear it well, it was as if God did not speak to you, but you heard it clearly. At a particular point of time, Joseph was about to give up. Yes, if he was to ask himself that, Questions. How can I have a dream, see myself a prime minister? What does a prime minister have to do with slavery, working as maid, or being in prison? Praise Master Jesus. The one guy was saying that, that, uh, that when you are a prime minister, you start by P, prime minister. When you are a prisoner, they, they can still abbreviate you by P. So Joseph led from P to P. Praise Jesus. So the Bible says, there is a way that seems right before man, but the end of it is destruction. This particular person, you had a dream some years ago, two years, as I was praying, I saw you, you had a dream. You were sitting in your own house. Praise Master Jesus. You were sitting in your own house and people were coming to you for help. You were helping a lot of people. You saw yourself as a great financier. But along the line, it seemed as if you didn't see it clearly. You're looking at your financial life now. You're asking yourself that I had a dream. I saw myself that I built my own house. What is wrong? When you look at your life, there is no sign of you seeing that one day you will be able to achieve what you saw. And right now you feel as if you didn't see it clearly. You're even doubting the God you're serving. The Bible says you got it all wrong because God is not the man that he should lie, neither the son of man to repent. When he see a word, he stand and watch for that word to come to pass. This particular person who had a dream, and there are many people saying, Pastor, I had a dream two years ago. I saw myself traveling. I saw myself getting married. I saw myself doing this one. I saw myself working in this office. And right now, nothing is going on. When you look at your life, 
there is no resemblance of what you saw. That was exactly what happened to Joseph. When he was working in the house of Potiphar, there was nothing connected to a maid, to a house boy, to a prime minister. From prime minister to prison, there is nothing linking a, a, a prisoner to a prime minister. But through the grace and the vision that God deposited on this young man, he, he took this guy to the prime minister position. That this particular person washing me, don't feel as if God has abandoned you. He has not abandoned you. He still care. God is still care about you. God still care about you. And the Lord says, though it tarry, it will surely come to pass. Can everybody watch on the comment section? This is a prophetic instruction. I, I would like you to drop this comment. Though my vision tarry, it will surely come to pass. Though it tarry is saying in the book of Habakkuk 2 3, though it tarry will come, will surely come to pass. I pray for somebody in the name of Jesus. May your vision come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen.